Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Tales of Arise. We're in camp right now, and uh, as I said, we are going to probably listen to as many skits as we can, and then we'll head back to Ulzebek with uh, the cooking pot that we found as part of our first ever subquest in the game. So let's listen and learn, uh, or see what they have to say about Zoogles. I swear you can't walk five steps without tripping on a Zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the Zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some Zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana, or so I've heard. What? You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature too? You can get angry all you want. But we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. He gets really, really pissed about everything. I actually kind of love it. <laughs> it's like, if you gave him, I don't know, brown bread instead of white, he'd be like, How dare you give me brown bread instead of white? Have you not done enough? Uh, I, I, yeah, Iron Mask, you need to chill, but I also, yeah, I'm a big fan. Uh, I actually don't need to rest because I did that off screen, so we are just going to be... Oh, hang on, maybe, maybe I can't, maybe I have to. Okay, we'll rest. I think it's time we go to sleep. Again. And, oh my god, she's still wearing the bunny ears. I should probably take those off. They kind of ruin any Come seriousness. On, we've got lots to do. Any any sense of seriousness uh, of the cutscenes, so we'll we'll get rid of those. But I will absolutely show off as many of those as I can. So fear not, but um, they are being removed. There we go. <laughs> and oh, look, this thing's respawned. Was this the uh, was this an antidote rock? It was. Cool. All right. So yeah, last time we were sent out to find. Uh, some members of the Resistance who turned out to be super dead, or at least most of them were, and uh, we found a cooking pot that they stowed away in a bush. So we are going to return it, and I'm sure it will come uh, in handy for the Resistance effort against the fiendish Renans. Of which, let's not forget that Chion, Chion, Chion is uh, is is one of them. But she wants to take out all of the lords. That's what she said last time. So, don't know what beef she has with them. Maybe she's just sick of them. You know, even though she probably wouldn't tell uh, Iron Mask this, maybe she's sick of seeing the Danans so, you know, oppressed. I don't know. Uh, I could. Uh, I could do a few more fights, but nah, we're just gonna crack on with the plot. I actually don't remember what the reward is we get for doing this quest. But it's probably not anything incredible. Oh, uh, another skit. <sighs> Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. You can talk. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next Sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, 
that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do. And I'll do whatever it takes, and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Ah, I really, yeah, I want to know why she wants to get rid of, uh, the lords. What is your, I mean, we know what you're trying to do, but what's your motivation? And, uh, also, I don't know how it could be drilled into you before you're born. <laughs> like, do they scream into the womb? Do they scream down the, down the, you know, the, the, the vagina? Listen, you're, you're a slave. When you're born, you're gonna do slave stuff. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, where am I going? This way. Hmm. Why does he look so pissed? Damn, so nobody made it, huh? Oh, I suppose he's pissed about that. I'm sorry, we arrived just a little If we'd arrived a little sooner, we could've... Hey, these things happen. It hurts, but this is the world we live in. I'll take good care of what you brought back. It's the only way we can respect the sacrifice of those we lost. Uh? Hey, when's Daddy coming home? Oh, really? No, game. Oh, no, that guy. Oh. Damn it. Hmm. Not yet, sweetie. Your dad's gone away for a while and... Don't. Don't lie to me. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I know that whenever grown-ups look sad and say someone's gone, they always mean they're dead. She's smart. you got to give her that. Daddy always warned me that this might happen one day. He told me to stay strong and be brave. So, I... I... Aww. This isn't right. Poor kids shouldn't have to be dragged into her own mess. Let's report back to Nate and th uh, get ready to fight. Yeah. A bit more motivation, and we get 200 SP and a bunch of gold. And ooh, emblem obtained. Now we're talking. Say hello to the uh, progression slash skill system. I don't actually know what it's called. Uh, I guess the skill panel is what it's called. Uh, counter edge. After a perfect evade or perfect guard, press R1 to trigger an immediate counter attack. Uh, and okay, right, so as you fulfill certain requirements for each of your characters, you learn titles for them. That's always been a thing in Tales games, from what I can tell, but they... They do something a little different with these. Uh, ones in particular. Or in this game, I should say. Uh, so you learn titles which unlock arts and skills that they can then learn, making fights easier. Cool. I actually really dig this system. It's, it's fairly simple. But I, I don't know, it's, uh, it, it works, it's good. And um, I, I don't know, any, any system in an RPG where you collect points to spend on skills, as opposed to just learning them naturally, I always feel like it's a little bit more rewarding and a little bit more exciting. Uh, so, and also opens up more possibilities for grinding. Uh, so yeah, with SP we can learn arts and skills. And if there's a skill you want to learn but just don't have the SP for yet, highlight it in the skill panel and press square. Doing so will turn on an alert. That's a nice feature. Again, this game so far seems full of very small but nice quality of life features, which I can appreciate. But yes, we have unlocked... In fact, we've got two emblems. Oh, of course, so Iron Mask was our first uh, title. And then we've learned... Rebellious spark. Every flame of revolution begins with a spark. Carrying it with the hopes and dreams of the oppressed as the fire becomes ablaze. The fire rises. Um, that was actually kind of a Bane Roshi. That was weird. Okay, so we have 256 SP. So I could buy a skill. Hidden art that unleashes a barrage of thrusts before concluding with a dramatic slash. That does sound pretty nice. Um, Mid-air evasion allows you to dodge once in mid-air. That's also nice. We could save up and increase our maximum art gauge. So, more arts in a combo. That would be nice as well. We've automatically learned the counter edge. Uh, 
Easier evade. Increased mid-air damage. Sonic thrust. That's actually pretty cheap. Uh, lightning fast thrust followed by a sweep attack. Oh, we've already gained an extra arc gauge. Increased critical damage. So, my only problem with systems like this is I am incredibly indecisive. I don't really know what to go for. We could learn some new arts. We totally could. Uh, but I might save up. Ooh, then again, learning a new aerial strike might be nice, because we've only got one of those. Uh, so do I go for... Well, actually, Stardust is the only one we can learn right now. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's learn Stardust. Which isn't that a movie? Isn't that a movie with, uh, De Niro? I don't know. Never seen it. Anyway. Shion! I think you've only got one title, Escape Artist. Uh, and as you can see, if you learn all of the skills on a certain emblem or title, you get completion bonuses, so she would gain Elemental Defense plus 10. Gemini Aqua. Ooh. Yeah, she's kind of lacking in the attack department right now, so I may... Water or fire. Or increased near-death attack, elemental attack. KO prevention. Allows you to... Oh my god! I've actually got my blinds open for once, and the sun has just decided to say hello and blind me. I... I am struggling to see <laughs> right now. Um, allows you to endure an enemy attack with 1 HP remaining one time. Okay. 800 SP though, that's gonna take a while to... Uh, to save up for. So I think I'm probably going to go for... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Burning Strike's actually an astral art. Whereas this is a gun strike. So I'm going to learn Burning Strike. There we go. Right, so now we're pretty much broke in the old SP department. Uh, when the sun comes out, it really, really shows off how dusty my fucking desk is. I should not have gotten a black desk. If anyone out there is thinking of getting a black desk or piece of furniture, don't do it. It's like having a black car. Dust and muck just stands out so badly on it. D don't do it, okay? Learn from my mistakes. Uh, also, do I want to rest at the inn? No, no I don't. Uh, and you know what? Actually, I'm going to control Iron Mask again for a little bit. Just because I love that outfit. I feel like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Oh. Yeah, I think there is, actually. Hello. I'm skeptical. <laughs> oh, okay. You must have gone through the Sandinus Ravine to get here, right? Is that Zugul still out there? Big guy, looks like an insect with wings. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's out there, alright. And he's gonna stay out there for a very long time, sir. If I hope you're not thinking you're gonna ask me to kill him. Right. Yeah, we saw it looked big and pretty tough to boot. We're not gonna mention that it absolutely wiped the floor with us, though. <clears throat> That's the one. It's hard to feel safe knowing it's still out there. I'd really like to see it get its comeuppance one of these days. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be... It, 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 we'll do it eventually. Just not right now. Especially since the people that deliver that comeuppance are gonna enjoy a pretty mighty payday. Okay. I mean, you had my curiosity and now you have my attention, but I'm still not gonna be able to do it for a while. Oh yeah? Yep, Zugal materials are imbued with astral energy. So the stronger they are, the more energy the materials contain. We could use them to make new weapons and stand up to the Renner a little better, even with our Astral Art Handicap. With the odd stray, I can usually gather a few people and get the materials myself. Hmm. But something that big's bound to be beyond my capabilities. And ours. If only there was a good way to beat it. Uh, we are absolutely not strong enough, but we'll take it on. All right. You know, <laughs> a little ways down the line. I don't see the harm in checking it. <sighs> Do you hear what you're saying? 
We've got enough to worry about as it is without inviting even more danger. Your Renan pal's right. I know you're strong, but I think even this Zugal might be beyond you. Yeah, it's level 43 or something. It's not like I need you guys to take it down for us right away, but how should I put it? If anybody has a shot at it, I think it'd still be, uh, it'll still be you guys eventually. Once you feel like you're up to the challenge, that is. When you are, would you be willing to give it a shot? You can bring other people along with you to help, of course. Well, yeah, of course. Why Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Got it. Okay, that sounds fair. We'll, we'll do it a long, long, long time from now. Place your bets, actually. Place your bets what episode number that's going to be. I'd be very interested to know if anyone gets even close. I mean, obviously, I have no idea right now, so... But uh, that is another sub-quest accepted. In fact... Uh, where is that going to be? Is that field guide? Activity records? Sub, yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, we would get a lot of money for that. And a decent bit of SP, too. So, that will be worth doing. Just not right now. Also, I love in the Tales games, right? In a lot of JRPGs, they try and come up with an alternate name for currency, don't they? You know, Final Fantasy has Gil, which is pretty iconic. But some games just go with gold. But this one's like, hmm, how can, how can we come up with a different currency that will really stand out? Well, we, we could change one of the vowels in gold. You're a genius. I love it. Right. Uh, yeah, I think we're supposed to go talk to Nath, aren't we? This, that sun is really bright. It's not supposed to... It, we're not supposed to see the sun. It's winter... It, well, it's, it's autumn. But it's nearly winter. Well, no, technically winter starts in December, doesn't it? Yeah, never mind. Anyway, hello. Oh, you're Tilsa. A lot of our people got hurt during the attack on that mine. I'm worried we're given... Uh, we're we're going to run out of our medical reserves. Well, maybe I could go find some? Grenar. Are we really going to bet it all on Iron Mask and his Renan lady friend? I'm not sure I like our odds. I'm right here, dude. Well, if Zephyr says they're good, it must be true. We'll just have to trust them. Damn right you're gonna trust- I mean, what else- what other options have you got? Do you know anyone else who can't feel fucking pain? Oh, another, uh... Oh wait, no, that's probably how we progress. Hey Zephyr, how's it going? The other members and I are going to devise our plan of attack. I have to let them know that I intend to make you guys the centerpiece of the whole operation. Of course you do. Again, makes sense. Oh, hang on. What do you do then? You're not only new here, you don't remember much at all, right? Well, if you've got any questions... Oh, more... Lots of exposition. Holy shit. How do the Renans fight? The Bright Eyes wear those huge armored suits and fights you, uh, fight using astral arts and uh, sicking their zoogles on people. You're dead meat if you try to take them head on. So we have to fight using greater numbers than by taking advantage of the terrain. Like throwing explosive barrels on, on a train. Most of us aren't like Zephyr. We can't take them on alone, one-on-one -on -one like him, unfortunately. Yeah, he's, he's pretty handy with that gauntlet. That's why we're so glad to have you two on board with us. We could use all the help we can get. Uh, anything else you want to ask about? Uh, well, we kind of know. We, we've kind of been told. So I don't feel like I need to chat about this. Let's just ask what Zoogles are. Yeah, they're monsters. I can't tell you how many different kinds there are, but I do know that they're all nasty and real dangerous. Also, feral ones you'll find wandering around outside. Most of those escaped from their keepers. We call those strays. Okay. Uh, astral arts is basically magic. Okay. Let's have a word with Nath. You're back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? 
Oh, right. Well, you see... I have a back rub. So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Brennan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon guards. Yeah, me thinks she she isn't like gonna go ruins. for that. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes. Now let's move. <sighs> oh, she's bossy. I love her. I actually love her. I love that she's constantly got resting bitch face. I love that she's just so fed up with her current situation. I, I, I love it. Oh, also, we have another skit. Hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Uh... Not really. <laughs> but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. Here, here. I guess that's true. Damn right it's true. Technology is just is just a tool. It can be used for good and the evil. But that actually is a pretty sweet technology. Right? Although it's funny. It's funny hearing the voice of Noctis be amazed that weapons can be summoned out of thin air because Final Fantasy XV is a thing. Right, hello. Can we go this way now? Uh, plenty of ruins and even more stray zoogles. Since there's no gate to block them, we have to keep people posted here to make sure that none of them get in. Alrighty. Let's go kill some strays. And head to the Fagan Ruins. Eaglier Wastes. Am I oh. really doing this for some lousy clo- <gasps> There are zoogles here too? We know that- we've been told this numerous times, Iron Mask. Hey! Hey, that's something my niece does a lot. She started doing that recently. Well, not recently, like, she's been doing it for a while. Whenever she just doesn't like something, she'll just go, Hey! <laughs> it's, it's so cute. Uh, you should always assume the Zoogles anywhere you go. They're the, one of the reasons I need you all. We're a team, after all, and that means you need to pull your weight. So when I call for you, I expect you to clear out any enemies around me. Okay. All right. Why do I have to do all the... In exchange, when you call for me, I promise I'll shoot down any any enemies around you too. Yeah, so this is uh, is a really cool system they're introducing, right? Which we will get to show off very soon. Uh, if you don't get in the habit of speaking up during fights, that'll impact morale and our ability to combo together. So make sure you do it often. Got it? Just a minute. Look, the enemy spotted us. Time to get to work. Time for a tutorial, is what it is. Boost attacks. You can summon allies in combat to use the unique boost attacks. Once the BG gauge is full, press the corresponding directional button to execute. The moves can be followed up with more attacks afterwards and also restore AG when you- Oh, I didn't know they restored AG! Oh, that's gonna be how you get some really long combos. Building up the boost gauge is just pretty much attack and it kind of fills automatically. Oh, builds up fast by landing counter edges as well, which we should practice. Iron Mask's boost attack. Initiates a brute force swing attack that can down almost any enemy. Tutorial start. Okay, here we go. So I actually have to do it. I missed. I missed. Although it does, it counts as a success somehow, but I totally missed. There we go. And Shion's boost attack fires numerous beams of light from the muzzle of Shion's rifle. 
effective on aerial enemies. This one's mine. I'll shoot them down. Okay, you do that. Like right now. Look at that. Whoa, that was cool as fuck. Whoa. Oh, that didn't. How did that not count as a success? Did that not hit the bloody thing? There we go. Yay. Teaming up with other party members for boost attacks allows you to keep attacking enemies longer. Different members work better against different enemy types, so don't be afraid to mix it up. Yeah, that's, again, that's going to be something that I'm going to have to uh, practice a little bit. Because really, you want to be doing it during a combo. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh yeah, she's using uh, her new skill as well. Whoa! Fire from above. It makes the fights just so goddamn impressive to watch. Really is fun. Really, really is fun. Looks like you've got the hang of it, but don't let it go to your head. Those were the easy ones. I know, I know. Yeah, so don't expect me to be super good at that just yet. Hopefully... Looks like it could be worth something. Hopefully I'll, I'll get more proficient. Uh, we're not too far off leveling up again. Uh, you can hardly see anything from here. Why don't we climb up higher and see if we can get a better view? That's exactly what I'm doing. Fact, this is a pretty big area. Yeah, pretty pretty big area. So before we head to the ruins, we're gonna pick some potatoes. What's this thing? It's a potato. Potato. I, I would I would quote Sam, but I I don't know the quote that well, so I'd only embarrass myself. Chesticle. Five hundred gold. So these are the Fagin ruins? How'd you figure a place like this turns derelict? Your guess is as good as mine. I didn't even know this place existed until we heard about it. All that matters to me is whether I can find anything to wear in there. Why does she care so much about her appearance? <laughs> good question. Uh, it really wouldn't. It doesn't seem like it would be much of a priority. But, oh well. We're, we're going to the super impenetrable abandoned mega castle to find a dress, pretty much. Oh, just look how pretty this game is, dude. I'm never gonna stop gushing about it. It's gonna be the whole playthrough. I'm really sorry, but that's just the way things are. And, uh, oh, yeah, we got some more armadillos. Plenty to explore. And plenty of opportunities to hopefully get better at the combat. Although I'm not, I'm not like, sucking or anything, I don't think. It's just, with with combat like this, you, you want to get really good at it. You want to just master it. And, uh, it's so satisfying when you pull off, like, a really good combo. Which isn't spamming the same art three times and missing, by the way. That's not great. Also, I should have probably equipped the uh, Stardust ability I learned. I forgot to do that. Yeah, so you got you got to be pretty good with those boost attacks to make sure that you're uh, not going to miss and screw up your combo. These little ones are hardly worth our time. No, I don't have any boost gauge. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. So we're getting some SP uh, from battles, which we have been the whole game, but now we can actually spend them. And I also like that the better you do in fights, it gives you a little bit of a bonus to your SP. 
And Tales games have always done that with, like, you get a grade after a fight. And again, it incentivizes you to just be better. Instead of just doing the bare minimum. You gotta fight with style. You gotta be... You gotta be smart. You gotta get those potatoes. Oh, we got a Shion special over here. We got some wasps. Which... Can I just say, if there were wasps that big in real life, I think I'd just probably just end myself. I don't want to live in a world where wasps are the size of house pets. Uh, in fact, let me... Oh my god, yeah, that fire ability is awesome! Can I do the, uh... I'm trying to remember how to do the... Do you just dodge and then press R1? Do you just dodge at the right time? That gun of yours is real handy in a pinch. It takes a true marksman to use. Well, I can't think of anyone better than you, Shion. Yeah, that's why I'm not controlling her, because I'd probably miss all the fucking time. And yeah, I also need to remember that I can jump and do other stuff. Like my- oh, in fact, did he equip that? No, he didn't. Alright, so let's put... Stardust on my X button. Yeah, I forgot it was an aerial attack. Okay. And yeah, we, we can- we can choose which ability she uses in fights, but... I think that'll do. Wheat... Something this way. Aha. Get lost. Two level eight bees and an armadillo. Oh, I jumped over him. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. That was Stardust. That was cool. Oh, except <laughs> when it's a ground enemy, <laughs> you can miss quite easily. Ah, I've just realized I tend to press X when I'm up in the air. Don't take your eyes off the prize. Uh, from Mirage, but now it's Stardust, so I miss. I maybe need to change that a little bit. Yeah, I usually press X to, to slam down on them. Less talking, more pummeling. Let's go to Shion for a little bit. To your heart's content. Here I come. Mega ray. You're mine. There we go. Here I come. Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep her as AI controlled. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Level seven. And actually, oh no, we we don't have much SP. <laughs> Iron chunk. Uh, as material, it's useless, but can be sold for a small price. Oh, So there are materials that are better off being sold. Gotcha. Do, 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 do. I do. I really, really dig this game so far. Apple gel! Again, it's going to be a super long playthrough, but I think I'm going to enjoy it every fucking second. Can I check that house? Can I get in that house? Can I get in that house? No. Oh, is there a... Oh yeah, I think there is a day-night cycle. I think? Or is it just the trick of the light? No, I think it might be, uh... I think the sun might be setting. So, I think probably at some point I'm gonna end up cutting out fights or not really showing every single one of them. Especially against enemies that we've already seen. It doesn't really seem like much point. 
Um, but I'm probably gonna, because you can avoid enemies on the on the map as well. I, I think I'm just gonna, if I'm gonna grind, it's probably gonna be off screen, and I'll just let you know what I, uh, you know, levels and stuff that happen. But if I'm gonna be spending any SP, I'll make sure to do that on camera so you know what skills I'm getting. Oh, that fire ability absolutely gets the job done. Looks like we won. Sure does. Ooh, what's this? More apple gel. Yeah, in in um in a lot of the Tales games that I've played, I always tend to use a lot of items to heal. Oh, should we take on that golem looking thing? We've already killed one of them before anyway, so I reckon we should. Remember, the orange thing is its weakness. Oh, nice. Get that boost attack. Poor break. Take it down. Rising Wyvern. Take it. Go. I'm only getting started. Here I come. Swallow Blade. Nice. Yeah, that thing's super easy as long as you stay behind well, it. Then, let's keep moving. Got a strange core from that and a stone fragment. Again, not sure what I use those items for yet. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain there's uh there is crafting eventually, but when we unlock that, I don't know. Now we're actually getting fairly close to as far as I got in the game because I did um, I did stream this once. Uh, pretty much this whole next part I streamed, so I do know what to expect for the most part. But yeah, we're we're getting to that point. Where it's all gonna be brand new. And I'm very excited. Oh shit! I thought I heard them running towards me. Only one of them? Right, let's see if I can do this uh, perfect evade slash counter. I did not do it. <laughs> I did not do it. Oh, he's going for shield. And he's dead. Yeah, I'm sure I'll get better at that eventually. Yeah, all the materials. All those potatoes, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to use those soon in cooking. Out of our way. Go. Getting started. You're finished. Up. Here. Oh, I fucked up that combo. God damn it. I'm really going to have to get a feel for this. Oh, those boost attacks look so good, though. Dude, there we go. That's better. So, square for Mirage. Well, then, let's keep moving. But yeah, so far, not that difficult. Not that difficult. Do you want to, oh, do you want to go this way just yet? Or is there more to explore? Oh, in fact, this is a dead end. Oh, right, yeah, let's go check it out. What do we have here? Lavender. A herb that raises attack when used. Smelling it heightens an eater's appetite. Their inner strength will welling up in turn. Is that just a temporary attack boost What's then? What's this thing? Is it... is it temporary? I don't know. Doesn't really say. I'm gonna assume that it's temporary. Because didn't we find another item that was a permanent stat increase? Yeah, this is just a consumable. Although... 
No, Sage. No, maybe maybe it is increases attack. Unless Sage, it, maybe it isn't a permanent stat increase. I don't know. I I don't know. We'll have to use it eventually. I really need to clean my monitor as well. The sunlight shining on it really shows how fucking dusty it is. I clean it so often as well. This room is just really bad for dust. It's really bad for dust. Anyone else suffer with a dusty ass room? I do. I love this room because it's much bigger than my old one, but my god, is it dusty as fuck. Look at that combo. Oh, that was good. That was good. I liked that. Oh, thanks for the heal, Shion. Cheers. Thank you. Still got plenty of CP. Barely a blip on our radar. Who's leaving just random bags everywhere? Apple gels. Arch proficiency and awakening. What's a character's art proficiency has reached? Oh no, I wasn't done reading. Help. Play uh glossary? No, this is just, like, information on people and places, which I love it when games have stuff like this, too. Especially when there's a lot of lore and world building. Play records. Nope. Uh, help. I need help. Arts. System. God damn it, where was that? Arts and... Proficiency? Or something? Crap. Would that be in battle? I don't know. I wasn't done reading it. Combos. Beginning. Art proficiency and awakening. There we go. Each character has three art proficiencies. Uh, these proficiencies go up as a character uses arts of the corresponding type. Once a proficiency reaches a certain level, you can learn new arts by using an art of the same type during combat. Okay. All right. So it's not just about learning them with SP with the skill panel. You can actually learn more just by using arts, which again is pretty cool. Right. Um, have we explored most of this side? Let's head over this way. Oh my god, god, that scared the fuck out of me, dude! You Out bastard! Get that core break. Oh, I got twatted. Really do need to learn how to do the perfect evade bullshit. Oh, I did it! I did it! Yes! I did it! Also, we can't dodge in midair right now. We haven't learned that skill. Thanks for the first aid. This combat system is so fun. We're in good form! And we're almost half, well, over halfway to uh, level 8. More carp, just catching it with our bare hands. I still don't know how he does that. Uh, I have just backtracked, haven't I? Yep, I'm going the wrong way. In fact, I saw some shiny rocks up there. Oh, and some here. More iron chunks. I hope they sell for, Well, they probably won't sell for much. Hang on a minute. There's a thing we can climb over that way. Please don't chase me, Zoogles. Oh no, they're chasing me. 
What is up here? We haven't been up here, have we? I don't think so. Oh, my wasp. No, we definitely haven't been up here. Gotta break through. Take this. Thanks. Come and face me. Ouch. Slot. There. You're mine. Stop. Ow. Stardust. Oh, Stardust missed Here. so badly there. Yeah. Oh my god, I missed again. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Membrane wing times two. Orange gel, that's always nice. Uh, oh, hi, Mr. Owl. Oh, you, you sound like a female owl. <laughs> That's quite suggestive. Oh, so cute though. Spotted cat ears. Really? More cat ears? Oh, it was bunny ears. I'm surprised there are owls here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Yeah, we've said that. So I'm probably going to get a trophy for finding all of those eventually, right? Should I put on the spotted cat ears, everyone? Should I do it? I think I'm gonna do it. Spotted cat- oh my god. They're actually protruding through the mask. That looks ridiculous. What the fuck? Well, I'll keep them on for a little bit. Sweet. Can I not get up there? Kind of looks like it would be able to get up there. Doesn't it? I always... Oh, I keep on pressing touchpad for the map. No, I don't think I can. Totally does look like there's a, a, an explorable area up there, though, just looking at the minimap. Oh, well. Right. Plunging attack! Look at that, straight on him. Beautiful. Oh, I've learned Demon Fang! Ooh. Again, I should uh, look into my arts and change them up a little bit. Demon Fang sounds fun. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Rising Stardust! God damn it, Stardust. <laughs> I really do need to change that. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Alright, so, arts. Rising Wyvern. I do want to keep that because it launches them into the air. I do like that. Uh, and looks like. Oh, hang on. Have we been using Swallow Blade? Let's change one of those for Demon Fang. Fires a shockwave that runs along the ground. Okay, sounds good. And I think... Oh my god, I keep doing that! Oh, hang on. No, there's a little way we can go this way. Map action. Let's go check that out. Where is that? Oh. Oh, hello. I'm guessing we can't go this way. We got some mean Zoogles locked up further in. We're keeping a close eye on them to make sure not a single one breaks loose. Ah, alright. We'll be back at some point, I'm sure. Okay, so I want to show off this demon fang. And some armadillos. Demon Fang. Demon Fang. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna miss a lot too. Oh, that was good. That was good. 
Ah, uh, see, I shouldn't... I should always use some arts before I do a boost attack. Because it recharges your arts gauge. Ow, you cock. I'll get the hang of this eventually. Any injuries? Tell you what, we're nearly level 8. And there is a campfire straight ahead, so let's go rest up. I wonder if those are the Fagin ruins below us. Shouldn't be too much farther now, if that's the... Oh! Uh, I guess it's been a while since I had a bite to eat. Those ears! Don't worry about me. I'm used to working while I'm hungry. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You should eat whenever you can. The last thing I need is you keeling over in the middle of a fight just because you didn't eat. Never thought I'd get lectured on eating by a Renin, of all people. Yeah, well, some of us Renins know what it's like to go without food, believe it or not. What do you mean? I thought... This isn't about me. Now, are you going to eat or not? I would, if we had anything to eat. But we don't. We got potatoes! <sighs> Actually, I have a little bit of food on me. You've been carrying that stuff around this whole time? Not sure it's going to be enough for the both of us, though. We have so many That's potatoes. We're going to cook it instead. Cook? I've never done anything like that before. Me neither, to be honest. But we've got to make something out of all this, so might as well try. Yeah, I suck at cooking in real life. Here we go. Let's rustle up some grub. What are you staring at me for? Your clothes are all about function over form. You should think about sprucing them up a little. I'm wearing cat ears. Why? What purpose would it serve? I guess you're right. Okay. I just think you'd look good with a little blue thrown in somewhere. I've... I've got blue all over the place! Alright, I'll think about it. Well then, what are you on about, Shion? Are you colorblind? I am wearing blue. Lots of blue. Also, how do I cook? Oh, it's when you rest. Okay. At camps and inns, you can cook meals, conferring temporary effects when eaten. New dishes. New dishes can be made by finding recipes while ingredients can be found. All over the fucking place. Uh, favorite meals. Depending on who in the party cooks a meal, the extent of the effects and the duration will vary. As such, it's wise to rotate who's on cooking duty based on your current goals and the party's overall status. Well, at the moment, the only thing we can make is porridge. Which I'm not a fan of. I think porridge is gross. Uh, but it will give us a little bit of defense up. And favorite meal effect. Consume double ingredients for 90%. Plus 90% to cooking. Oh. Okay, and that decreases our defense by 5%. And it just uses up three wheat. Of which we have 24. So, yeah, let's make some porridge. And I suppose we only have Shion who can make that right now. All done. Come and eat. Ugh, porridge is gross, though. Ugh. And that looks like it's in the last 19 minutes. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. How does he do that? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Stick a straw up there or something? Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It's raw! It would have been perfect if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry. That's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. It really isn't. You got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense? Or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant. But everyone else said they were way too spicy. Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. 
Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I can't guarantee it'll be to your tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already. And please don't look at my cat ears, I'm very self-conscious. He likes spicy food, does he? Oh! Emblem obtained! We are now a speedy chef! And she's learned how to counter edge. Sweet. Oh, and she's learned <laughs> toxicity. Fires poisonous water bubbles that can inflict poison status. Very nice. Increased ailment rate. That goes very nicely with that. Increased ailment bonus damage. Increased near death attack elemental attack. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I have no idea how we're going to unlock emblems in this game, like when it's going to happen, what things it wants us to do to unlock them, and I can't wait to find out. I think it's going to be quite exciting when we randomly unlock a new emblem, which is going to give us a bunch of new skills. I am a fan. I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Kidoki. So we have a nice food buff on us right now, so a bit more defense. Um, is there a cave over there that I could have gone in? Hang on a minute. Is it? Oh no, it's just some texture popping. Ah, well. Overall, though, the game does look really good, doesn't it? All right. Entrance to the Fagan Ruins. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. I've seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. Damn. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So, how the hell are we? Oh, those bright eyes. Easy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take those cat ears off. I, I, I cannot, I cannot abide this. No, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Well, everyone, we've made it to the Fagan Ruins, and it looks uh, very advanced. They got lasers, laser doors, laser grids, and uh, tables and stools. So next time, we'll explore this good and proper. Thank you for watching, everyone. Still really, really hope you're enjoying this playthrough. I am having the best time. This game's great. And also, we have a skit to watch next time, too. So... Look forward to that. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you, and goodbye.